Hi everyone, it's me Robert here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a Chainlink node by running the node itself as well as its Postgres database on separate Docker containers. With this approach, you can run your node in the cloud without relying on an expensive database service, and you also can save time by utilizing a container-optimized image. If you think that sounds interesting, then let's jump right into it. To get us up and running quickly, we create a virtual machine instance on the Google Cloud. We choose a machine type with at least 2 GB of memory. And we change the boot disk to container optimized OS. Then we create the instance. Once the instance is running, we can SSH into it. The container optimized OS comes with Docker already pre installed. We can verify this by running docker v. Now we can create a data directory for the Postgres database. We also can create a directory for the Chainlink node. And now we can create the container for the Postgres database. Now we create the Chainlink Postgres user in the Postgres database container. Here we create the database. And with this command, we grant the privileges to the Chainlink user. Now we create the .m file for the Chainlink node. And we copy the required information for the Chainlink Ringkeby test network into it. For this demo, we use Infura as external provider for the connectivity to the Ethereum blockchain. If you want to use Infura as well, make sure that you adapt your Infura project ID here accordingly. Also make sure that you use the same Chainlink Postgres password here that you've used to create the Chainlink Postgres user before. Next, we create the .password file which holds the password for your node wallet. Please note that your password must be longer than 12 characters. It must contain at least three uppercase characters, three numbers and three symbols. We also create the .api file, which holds the credentials for the GUI interface of the node. The first line is your email address. The second line is your password, which has to be at least 8 to 50 characters. Finally, we can create the container for the node itself. Please note that we have added the parameter network host, since we run the database locally from the node perspective. Now our Chainlink node is running. We can detach from the term terminal with control PQ. Before we create access to the GUI of the Chainlink node, please make sure that you click the like and the subscribe button below. In order to be able to access the GUI of our new Chainlink node, we open a command prompt on a local machine and authenticate with gcloud. Then we create an SSH tunnel into port 6688. Now we can open a browser and navigate to localhost 6688. Here we can log in to our new Chainlink node. If you like this content, please make sure that you click the like and the subscribe button below. Thank you for watching.